so where, where did the idea <clears throat> to focus on HGF, MET system actually come from? And, and what evidence uh, have, have you seen um, of its role in, for example, maintaining neuronal health and, and function? So the idea of targeting HGF as a neurotrophic factor or as a critical brain growth factor or neuronal growth factor has been really well studied in the last 15 years. The name is a little bit uh, misleading because hepato comes from the liver, uh, but there has been a lot of work in the last 10 to 15 years around this target and its critical function in normative brain function uh, and recovery of neuronal health. Now, the, the idea that we have, the origin of the idea that we have in Athera is from Dr. Joe Harding's lab at Washington State, but we've transformed the technology into a, an, a fully owned pipeline by Athera. All of these compounds are novel, new composition of matter that we've developed internally in Athera. Um, and, and some of the evidence that really uh, creates excitement in Athera around the target is um, the work that has been conducted at the Allen Institute for Brain Sciences here as well in Seattle, where they mapped the human brain and rank ordered 30,000 genes in an effort to uh, identify new targets that might impact um, the brain health and function. And what was very interesting for us is our target, the MET receptor, was at the top, uh, listed at the top, the number one gene out of 30,000 gene and in normative or stable expression and, and very controlled levels in the cortex, which is an area that we know is involved in, in, in Alzheimer's disease and memory and learning. And when you look at Alzheimer's patients, what you see is there is a significant reduction in the expression of this target. So there's also a pathological change in this target. And what we're trying to do in Athera is rescue this critical brain growth factor and neuronal uh, regenerative pathway.